It's always an honor to stand before people and share the Word of God. And today I want to share a few thoughts on a, on, on a simple but a profound subject called love. Love is awesome. And in fact, the Bible tells me in 1 John 4 and 16, God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. I was just a young lad when Johnny Cash came out with that great song that I still enjoy listening. Love is a burning thing. Now, some have used the word love is a burning flame. Love is a burning thing and it makes a fiery ring bound by wild desire. I fell into a ring of fire. And Johnny tries to describe something of what love is in the lyrics of that particular song. The question is, how does one explain love? How does one demonstrate love? What are the sure signs that love is present, that love is active, and love is effective? In pre-marriage counseling, I often ask the question of both, do you love each other? And the answer invariably is yes. And then I kind of catch them off guard a little bit and say or ask, what is love? You say you love, you love your fiance, but what is love? And they try to describe to me the feelings that they feel that would express love. Well, it's interesting that in Greek, of which the New Testament was translated, in Greek there are four words for love, and you have to be careful on how you use them. And very quickly, there is one word called eros to describe love, and it's a sexual, self-seeking love. A second one is storge, and storge is love between parents and children or love that extends between members of the family. Then there's filio, some call it philia. It's an, an affection, a love between a girlfriend and a boyfriend, or the affection between two friends. And the fourth description is agape. Agape is the indescribable, boundless love of God that is demonstrated by real action. The Bible says, for this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. The love of God, as demonstrated in John 3.16, is what I might call a high level Love. There is love no higher than the agape love of God. And the agape love is without restrictions, it's without boundaries, it's without color or race or creed. It's that kind of love that gives without expecting any favors. It's love that gives without expecting anything in return. It is the love that reaches beyond the capacity of normal human love. However, whoever lives in love lives in God. And this God who lives in us gives us the ability to reach beyond ourselves beyond our capacity to love. Have you been hurt by other people? Have you been disappointed by other people and you are expected to love them? The response might be, but I, I, I cannot find it within myself to love them. Good news. The love of God, the agape love of God that is poured out into your life will help you to rise up in love and reach out 
to the very people that may have disappointed you in the past. The Bible says of the greatest commandment, the most important one is this. This is taken from Mark 12. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And it continues with this. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. You see, we love, the Bible says we love because he first loved us. In his limited wisdom and understanding of love, the Holy Spirit uses the pen of the Apostle Paul to help illustrate what agape love is all about. And the only way Paul could appreciate or describe the agape love is because the Holy Spirit gave him insight into what agape love meant in his own life, and he was able to regurgitate that in a very convincing manner. And, and the Bible says... And whatever you do, whatever I do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. And when we love people and love people in the name of Jesus, explosive things can happen in relationships. With mere human language, Paul endeavors to describe love that reaches beyond understanding. Now, I didn't read from 1 Corinthians 13, but many of you could probably repeat it from memory. And in Paul describing the agape love, talks about it in this way. He said, love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love is not proud. Love is not rude. Love is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil. Love rejoices with the truth. Love protects, trusts, hopes, perseveres. Love never fails. And, and I do not have the capacity to love to that degree. But because the love of God that has poured into my heart. I can love people even beyond what I feel I am capable of loving. If love were a blanket, that's the kind of blanket that God would wrap himself in. Because the Bible says that God is love. And all of these descriptions that Paul uses is a description of God. Give a few examples. God is patient. God is kind. God is not self-seeking. God does not delight in that which is evil. God protects. God trusts. God hopes. God perseveres. God never fails. Isn't it awesome when we have that kind of love, how God can be a part of who we are? And then when we continue to read from 1 Corinthians, Paul talks about things and stuff Stuff that we did when we were younger and he was saying all these things will eventually pass away but love it is forever love stays love in its pure abundance is sufficient for all time I would ask today those of you who are listening to put love in practice and you really, and I as a pastor now for 50 years, cannot really express the love of God until I experience God's love within me. I was very young when I came to acknowledge Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And today I wouldn't exchange it for anything. Might I suggest to you that if you are still going through problems, situations in your own life. Look to God, claim his love, and let the Holy Spirit bless you today. I will read just the last few verses of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 
And Paul said, when I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, I put childish things way behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. May the Lord bless you. Let me just pray with you. Father, pour out your love into our hearts today. Let us claim it by faith. And let us represent Jesus in the practical areas of life. And may our love flow out so that others might be inspired. In the name of Christ we pray it. Amen and amen. You have yourself an awesome day. God's blessings.